Hi everyone, this is uh, Sam T. No, I'm not here, but uh, <laughs> I'm behind the screen itself. I'm just going to explain and uh, do a quick review to you uh, what one of the tools that has been helpful uh, to me uh, when I play guitar. And of course, for some of you who don't know what this is, this is actually uh, an application uh, for an iPhone. Uh, for, so this will only benefit for those who use iPhone. So if you don't use an iPhone, you can sit in and have a have a look what we're trying to do. But this is specifically uh, catered for iPhone uh, users. So you can see here, there's this application called Guitar Toolkit, and um, I've been using this uh, a while and been introduced uh, uh, from a friend to use this, and it has helped me a lot. So let's jump into it. I'll do a quick showdown of what this is. So straight up you can see this is actually a tuner but before we go into it I will show you some features of what uh, this application brings. So you can see here there are actually one two three four five five um, sort of features that's included in this package itself. So you can see there's a tuner here and then you have a fretboard here that will show you all the Strings, standard tuning, even scales that you can sh uh, you can see from there, metronome and chords and six string. This one means uh, kind of this have settings that you can use um, to change uh, instead of uh, tuning a guitar, you can tune an electric guitar, uh, six string, twelve string, bass, banjo, ukulele, <laughs> you name it, man. <laughs> pretty much have quite a lot of string instruments in there and you can alter certain uh, settings and it's even lefty friendly left-handed so I'll just give you a quick rundown from here so this tuner is functional quite similar to how your normal digital tuner is so basically there's your meter there and there's your dot in reference to you whether you are in tune or not. So that's pretty straightforward here. Here, if you click mode, okay, if you click mode here, you will change your standard tuning to all notes. Now, you can even tune to any note that you want. So, <laughs> you can see my spoken word is B or B sub, sharp or B flat or C, <laughs> depending on the word I'm using. So, quite powerful. Okay, let's jump into a fretboard. This one is actually uh, give you the standard tuning. You can play tunes, I mean, sound that uh, comes out from the fretboard itself, and then you can change. I'll just click a setting there, you can turn on the scales, and it will show you. You list out all the scales. If this is for a bit more intermediate and advanced player, uh, let's pick C major scale, and you list out what a C major scale would look like. I'm not playing this correctly. So uh, that's a quite powerful tool for quick reference to uh, C major scale, and there are many skills uh, augmented bebop wow i didn't even know there's uh, such thing as bebop scale <laughs> so that shows you my my level of expertise but wow this pack a punch here and i have shown some in the previous clip uh metronome how to use a metronome oh, that's quite slow Can slow it down and turn it up just by tapping here and then if you double tap on the top you can actually time your tap Two, three. so the touch screen itself when you tap on the screen the speed that you want it will show you the number of uh, BPM and that's quite helpful Let's go into the settings here, and you will see you can even change the sound of uh, if you don't like TikTok, <laughs> you can try. Let's say, okay, let's try some bass. 
Okay, you can try the base. If this one visible flush, which means you turn on the flushing when the beat counts or not. And here you have all your time signatures, different timing you can use. Let's try 3-3. Three, three. For example, let's go back, you should have a bass sound. Three count. Alright, so that's your metronome here. And here comes the ultimate one where I always use, which is how to play certain chords uh, when, <laughs> when I'm needed to, especially playing in a band or uh, for, for certain groups of people. So here, just by tapping this, I oh, can have this grow metal here. Wow, what the sound. C5, that's how you play a C5. And here, you will show you different frets. Fret 3, how to play C5. I can turn off the auto strum so you won't strum all the time. So basically, wow, it has a lot of stuff here. So you can go from C, D, the whole range, pack a punch here. And of course, I go to the sixth string, which is just a basic setting of what kind of uh, setting you can do for an instrument. Even the tuning itself, you can play with it. So for advanced user, if you want to tune, besides tuning to a standard tuning, you can tune to uh, different kind of tunes here. You can do the famous drop D tune. So we've, by selecting all this, when you go back to your tuning, let's say, let's do drop D. Say it's drop D here, I'll go back to my tuner. You can see here, it's drop D instead of standard tuning. So you can tune to a drop D kind of mo uh, mode. So there you go, that's pretty much it for um, just this application review. I'm not <laughs> selling this from, uh, nobody asked me to sell this, but I just want to share with you how this application can help me. And uh, you can go ahead and uh, give that a try in the iPhone app itself. It's called Guitar Toolkit. And uh, some of you might want to buy this, some of you might not, but accordingly, I uh, hope this will benefit you. And that's all for today. I'll see you next time.